all, Sai here! We decided to put flooring in the back room since we basically made it into a bedroom. So I got started on it right away. This flooring was super easy to put in and it feels super cool to walk on. This silvery cushion was so much better than the stuff we used in the house. It is super easy to unfold and lay out. I used full boards in one row and then a full and a half or a third or two thirds in the next. It went really fast. I used cutoffs to fill the gap at the end and this is where the bed is going to go so it won't be seen without some effort anyway. It was so fun to sweep it and to twirl around on it. Next is putting together the Murphy bed. Okay, there is the kit. It's called I Semble. Let's see if I can assemble it. It's gonna go right there. So the directions look pretty straightforward, um, but I know how that goes sometimes. Okay. I took everything out of the box and laid it out according to the directions. The wood didn't come with it, and we hadn't gotten it yet, but I could get started on the frame anyway. It was pretty easy to assemble, except there was one end that had gotten smashed during shipping. I was able to use a hammer claw and bend it back to where it was supposed to be so the other piece would slide right into it. I put it all together, but I didn't tighten anything yet. Then I attached the wood springy things together. Well, that's all I can do without wood. Then we got the wood. We used pine for most of it since the entire room is pine already. I used the bracket templates and put in the inserts while the wife worked on tightening the bed frame. Then I attached the wood springy boards while husband attached the brackets. Then we assembled all different pieces, including the ones with the brackets, which would be the bed housing. And we lifted it up and slid it into place. And then secured it to the wall. Next, we attached the bed frame and those parts that help the bed go up and down. The force that those springs produce is so strong that they have warnings about the potential hazards that they can cause. They recommend having one person to keep weight on it while another works on it until the mattress is in place. And boy, they were right. It was tough to hold it out while husband marked where the stop would go. Then we both pulled it down and I kept it from springing up and crushing husband while he put the stop in. Next, we attached these feet things. Next, we added the brackets to the plywood and the plywood hangs on the bed frame and the frame gets attached to the plywood. These were tricky and took a little adjusting, but we finally got it. Husband stealthily added the handles to the bed without me noticing and he also hung the blind over the window. Then we pulled it down to add the mattress and the bedding. We noticed it wasn't sitting level, so husband notched out the corners so the feet would fully extend. And this worked, so we tried it out. And here is the view from laying on the bed. 
I love the cedar ceiling and the pine walls make it very cozy. Then we pulled off the pillows and tucked the bed away. Even though we had to make those notches, we still think it looks great. We are still working on the rest of the shop and now we have decided to add a deck to it. So we'll see you really soon with another progress update video. So thanks for joining us everybody.